Do you have a DSLR or a mirrorless camera that you want to use as a webcam? If so, you are probably looking for an HDMI capture card. The Elgato Cam Link is a solid option, but at $100, give or take, it is quite rather expensive. In this video, I'm gonna go over one alternative that is very cheap and budget friendly and works like a charm. Oh yeah. Yeah, another video. This video, I'm gonna use the Canon SL3, the clean HDMI that it offers and use a budget-friendly, cheap HDMI capture card. We're gonna use the HDMI capture card to turn the SL3 into a webcam. But Ben, did you just do a video on how to use the SL3 as a webcam? Why, yes. Yes, I did but using the Canon EOS webcam utility does have its drawbacks. I will leave you a link to the card above where you can watch me use the Canon SL3 as a webcam via the Canon EOS webcam utility. But while the Canon EOS webcam utility does work, it does have its drawbacks. And one of the drawbacks is the audio and video sync between your mic and the video that comes out of the camera. Using an HDMI capture card like this or the more expensive Elgato Cam Link will greatly reduce the latency between your audio and video. See, that's latency. When there is a mismatch between what I'm saying and what you're seeing. When using the Canon cameras through the EOS webcam utility, the latency is, is pretty trash. Basically, the camera has to send the data to the computer over USB and that software needs to process it. And that processing time creates, you know, a lag. So your audio will come first through your, you know, whatever mic you're using. Another downfall of the Canon EOS webcam utility is that it only captures the video. It does not capture audio. So you have to use your own microphone that's plugged into the computer via a audio interface or a plug-in USB mic. Summarize, the audio comes before the video and it's kind of weird because it's like, hello. <laughs> It looks like a really bad dubbed movie. Hello, hi, oh! Why yes, yes, there are ways to sync the audio and video within your streaming software, but not all streaming softwares have that ability to sync the audio and video. But fear not, with the Canon SL3 or any other camera, you are able to capture the audio and video while using the HDMI capture card. That means you are able to use the on-camera microphone or in-camera microphone and capture that audio so you don't have to match it up in the software. Isn't that amazing? It's plug and pray. So in summary, the HDMI capture card makes life easy. Okay, okay. I'll stop rambling and let's get into the HDMI capture card. Now I'll leave you a link down in the description below. It is my affiliate link where, you know, if you use that link to buy this, uh, HDMI capture card, it will help out this channel because it will fund my hobbies like this for reviews. But yes, let's get into opening this HDMI capture card. So what do you get in the box? But here we go. This is the front, side, back, more side, more side, front again, and let's open up the HDMI capture card. What you get in the box? Ooh. Ooh. What do you get, little, little thing here? You get, oh yeah, the HDMI capture card. It is little, pretty, and functional. You also get this manual, but you don't need that. Literally, this thing is plug and play, or plug and pray if you wanna uh, be a little more uh, technical. <laughs> Let's go find the HDMI cables for this Canon SL3 and plug everything in. I am using the SL3 for this video, but the concepts are the same for any camera that has clean HDMI. What is clean HDMI? Well, clean HDMI is when the camera is able to output the video out of the HDMI port and no on-screen display. You don't have all those function and status uh, displays. Let's go find a cable. Ooh, look what you know. A cable right on top. Oh, 
Yeah. The Canon SL3 uses a mini HDMI uh, cable. And this is the regular HDMI cable, so you're gonna need a mini to a regular. As always, links in the description. Now, what we're gonna do is connect the HDMI capture card and the regular HDMI cable together. On the Canon SL3, if you turn it to one side, you'll have the mic jacks. If you turn it to the other side, you have the HDMI stuff. All you have to do is open up the door and reveal the HDMI port. Now all you do is take the HDMI mini side and plug it into the camera. Just an FYI, if you're wondering what kind of cable I'm using, uh, I am using a mini two regular HDMI, but I'm going through an adapter. So this adapter here, which I'll leave you a link down in the description below, is basically a mini to a regular HDMI, but you can use your own HDMI cable. As you can see, you can unplug this and it's a regular HDMI cable. Now, this is your setup. You have your SL3 or the camera that you have, and you have the HDMI capture card. Now you take this card here and plug it into the USB port of your computer. Now that you have plugged in the USB HDMI capture device, let's get into the computer and demonstrate how to use this HDMI capture device. Woo! Now we are in the computer. I wanna demonstrate how to use the HDMI capture device with OBS, which is very popular with uh, streaming to Twitch or YouTube, and I'm gonna demonstrate how to use Zoom. You know, Zoom is popular now because you wanna to talk to your friends and family and, and, and Zoom and, and, well, I can't talk. And Zoom is very amazing because you can keep in touch with your friends and family. But let's start with OBS. Now I am in OBS right now and you see color bars. It's because I have this set up already. But um, as you see right here, I have the SL3 as a scene and have it selected as a HDMI capture device. Now all you do is uh, make your source here and select USB video, which is the HDMI capture device. And this is the Canon SL3. But the Canon SL3 is not on now. And this is why you see the color bars. Now when you turn on the Canon SL3, turn it on to the video mode. And when the Canon SL3 turns on, you will see yourself in the screen. Oh yeah. But Ben, why is there on-screen displays? Well, yes, the Canon SL3 does have clean HDMI, but you have to turn it off. And let's do this. Go into the menu, press the menu button, scroll all the way while, well, make sure you're in the camera settings and scroll to page number four. Scroll down to HDMI display here and press Full HD, clean full HD. You can use the 4K, which uh, it works, but 4K, remember, on the Canon SL3, there is a crop. So this 18 millimeter lens, like uh, for example, you gotta do a multiplication factor and it's gonna be very, very tight on your face. So I suggest uh, full HD because when you're streaming anyway, who's gonna watch 4K? But yes, full HD, let's uh, select that, press set on the camera, or yeah, and now press menu to go back, and now you have a clean HDMI output of the Canon SL3. Oh yeah. Now this can be used as a webcam, and look how sharp this is. Oh wow, okay. Look at the um, my little pops over there. Look at the focus. That focus is mint. Look how fast that focus was. Oh yeah, back into my face. Oh yeah. Now, I am using battery power. You don't see any cables coming out of the battery door, but in a previous video, which I will leave you a link in the card, card in the, the card up there and the description down below, is how to give your Canon SL3 unlimited power. Unlimited power is great because the Canon SL3 can churn through batteries. While the battery power is good and it will last you for like uh, 30 minutes to maybe to an hour, you don't want to be uh, left stranded uh, and have the battery die during a stream. So link in the des description below and in the card for unlimited power, how to power the Canon SL3 using a wall outlet. But let's get into uh, Zoom. Now that was OBS. Let's get into Zoom. Here it is, this is Zoom, this is very amazing. This is where we talk to friends, family, make a podcast, do uh, YouTube videos with you know colleagues across the nation. Shout out to Tech Guys Chronicles and Steve. But this is Zoom here and all you gotta do is select the HDMI capture card. But 
You see me now with the webcam. Now this is a, a very good webcam. This is a Logitech 4K Brio. And this is supposed to be like the Logitech's top of the line webcam. And you can see it still looks like a webcam. And we're gonna improve quality using the Canon SL3 and the HDMI capture card. Let's do that right now. Okay, let's uh, stop the video here and, or change the video, not stop the video. We're gonna change it to the USB video and you can see, ooh. Oh yeah, look how, that is quality right there. Look how sharp that is. Look how the focus, that's amazing. Oh yeah. Oh, it's still focused, wow, that's that's pretty good. Look at that, it's following my face. Let's get out of the frame, okay. Ooh, there it goes, there it goes. Now it's focusing. Wow, okay, that face detection is solid on this camera. It found my face and, and locked on. It's doing what it's supposed to do, oh yeah. But uh, don't forget to change your audio settings too in Zoom. So we're gonna change it to USB audio, and that is the audio coming from the camera going into the HDMI capture card. And it's gonna be solid because it's gonna be all synced up. You don't have to worry about syncing audio and video. Well, that's all I have for this video. If you have gotten to this part of the video, oh, thank you. You stayed for the craziness. You are a super fan and I love you. But if you haven't, well, uh, you probably won't see this part, but, <laughs> But, 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 ooh, buts. <laughs> if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to this channel, like this video, and turn on that notification bell. I will be doing more Ken SL3 content. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. If you want to say hi, leave them in the comments down below. Did I say that already? I think I said it in the last clip. Oh, well, I shot this uh, outro like 10 times, so I probably did say it already, but I'm gonna say it again. Well, I did say it again. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm losing my mind. But, <laughs> the crazy, <laughs> it's kinda late, but I gotta get, I have to edit this video for tomorrow. Well, until next time. Oh, yeah.